Good morning, this is Cindy Press Grace with Cindy's Realty Group and today I wanna to talk about what opportunities do sellers have in this market? Do you guys have an opportunity? Do you guys wanna sell your house? Hmm, let me tell you what type of opportunities. All right, sellers have an opportunity with today's home prices and why is that? There are so many things that you guys have not been taken into consideration or even thinking about. You say, you know what? The rates are too high. I'm not gonna sell. I'm not, where am I gonna go? Don't worry about those things. Those, let me just handle that. Believe me, I always find a place. There's plenty of houses on the market and off the market. Usually they're off the market and I can always find something for you. And it could be your dream house too. So for instance, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this. So yesterday, I do, um, and I have to be very clear on this, I do not work for Chafin Communities. I live in their neighborhood and I have a really good relationship with them. And I've lived in their houses for the past four years and I love their houses. I mean, me that's me personally, but they actually have an excellent service and the relationship that I've created with them, you know, they, they work with me all the time. So in this case, yesterday I found out that in order, if you're, sell, if you're buying a house with them, FYI, they are offering right now, and we're talking about May 2022, they're offering lows for uh, in the low 4%. Meaning, depending on your credit score and all that, they're actually buying the right to the fours, which is pretty awesome. So I just wanted to let you know, FYI. But anyways, let's go ahead and tell you what type of opportunities you have. And you know what, don't panic, don't worry. There's plenty to, there's plenty of information, but it is for you to digest all of this information. It's really, really important. And if you have questions, let me know. So as mortgage rates started to rise this year, many homeowners began to wonder if the value of their homes would fall. That is false news. People don't even think about it. It has actually appreciated more. But shh, do you have more questions? Okay, just comment. And just keep on writing them down and send them to me. All right, but here's the good news. I'm going to tell you about this. So historically, the mortgage rates rise by a percent, percentage point or more. Home values continue to appreciate. You love that word, appreciation. And by the end of this year, we're going to be actually appreciating between 9 and 10%, which is amazing. Who wouldn't want an additional 10% of value in your home, right? 30, 20 probably 50,000 depending on value or where you're at. And you know what? Homes will continue to appreciate and that's the beauty of it. So the latest data on home prices seems to confirm that trend and it's gonna continue to appreciate. Keep that in mind. Don't think that we're in recession. There is a difference between all that completely. And there's there's many other things to look at and all that. So according to data from CoreLogic, home price appreciation has been reaccelerating since November and that is really important. I mean, we've been actually increasing versus decreasing and health prices are gonna continue rising. So, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this from 2000, from two, January 2021 till present, we have a, a evaluated and a percentage have increased of almost 20.9% and this is till March. So that's a lot, a lot of information, a lot of value to actually learn and know about and that is really important because if you're thinking of selling, you know that, your apple. All right, so like I said, a price appreciation is accelerating. So this is largely due to an ongoing imbalance in supply and demand. So if you think that prices are gonna go down, no, think again. So specifically, housing supply is still low and we're still low, we're still looking for inventory. And you know what? And demand is really high, especially during the summers. I mean, it's been it's been an ongoing stopping thing. So this is amazing as you as a home seller. So as mortgage rates started to rise this year, many home buyers rushed to make their purchases before those rates could climb higher. The increased competition drove home prices even more up. So Selma Hebb, deputy uh, deputy chief economist of at CoreLogic explains, and this is what she explaining is, home price growth continue to gain speed in early spring as eager buyers try to get in front of the mortgage rate surge. So you listen to that, do you understand that? Okay, perfect. So, and the experts say prices are forecast to continue appreciating. 
just at a moderate pace moving forward. So a, a recent article at Fortune says, the swift move up in mortgage rates doesn't mean home prices are about to crash. Think again, people. This is not a housing crisis. This is appreciation. Appreciation. So that means more money in your pocket. So in fact, every major real estate firm with a publicly released forecast model still predicts home prices will climb further this year. I'm telling you, 10% more by the end of this year. And this this is probably, I don't even know if we're talking about the state of Georgia or not, but like I said, there's so many things. So what this means for you? If you're thinking about selling your house, you should know you have a great opportunity to put more money in your pocket. <laughs> so <laughs> think about that. So list your home and capital in today's home appreciation. And you do want that. There's different options, like I said. So as prices rise, so does the value of your home, which gives you more equity to give it a boost. So you want a big boost? You want big money in your pocket? So let's talk. So when you sell, you can use that equity towards the next purchase of your home. So what are you looking at? Are you looking to downgrade? Or are you looking to upgrade? What are you, what is, what do you want in your next house? Think about it. Do you want a five bedroom? Do you want a two bedroom? Do you want a two and two? Do you want a two and one? Do you want his and hers? You want to kick your husband downstairs with his cave, uh, cave, uh, caveman cage or whatever it is down in the basement? Do you want to have a basement or not? So there's so many things to, th to think about and, and cover. So, and at today's record lows of appreciation, record level of appreciation, I mean, people, we have last year between, and I'm going to tell you this again, appreciation has been between 2021 to March 2022 over 20.9%. What is this telling you? Are we, are we going into a market crash? No, we're not. I'm not telling you people. So just listen to me, okay? So like I said, you know, this is, the equity may be enough to cover some of your house, new house or probably all of your down payment, depending on how much you want to put on a down payment. Do you want to put a 5%? Do you want to put a 15%, a 20? Or do you want to pay it in full? It all depends. It all depends on what you want to do. Or do you want to go ahead and buy, put a 5% and buy a few investment properties? You know, that's an option too. Did you know that? I can hook you up too. Okay, so like I said, history shows rising mortgage rates have not had a negative impact on home prices. When have you seen the prices gone down? That's what I thought. So now is a great time to sell your house and thanks to the ongoing appreciation. So when you're ready to find out how much equity you have in your current home and what's happening with home prices, just give me a call or just comment below. Send me a message. Send me an email. Have a beautiful day.